say, recently a student of mine who's working now at Making Pots in Colorado contacted me and asked me about a load of clay she got. Um, she received boxes of clay and it all appeared to be too stiff to throw in. And my response to her is this little video clip. Often we do get a box of clay that when you open it and you press your thumb into it, you go, oh my gosh, I can't throw this. Well, there's a, a reason why it's stiff. And for the longest time, I always thought it was the fact that many manufacturers no longer put a clip or a tie around the top of the bag. That's not really the problem. The issue is, and I got this information from a bunch of different um, clay manufacturers. To make clay that is instantly plastic, they put a gelled plasticizer into the batch. They then mix that in to the powdered material, add water to it, and when it comes out of the pug mill, in a pug stick this big, it's ready to be bagged and sent out. But if it sits in the warehouse for any length of time, a few months, and then it moves to another warehouse where we buy the clay from, uh, the clay tends to set up again. That plasticizer starts to re-gel and the clay becomes stiff. Well, there's one solution to it that nine times out of ten solves the problem. So, give this little, little sharing tip a try before you talk to the clay manufacturer or your supplier. Now this tip has been shared many times, but uh, this is my answer to my student, Martina. So I've got this clay that's pretty stiff. I wouldn't try and throw this clay until I dropped it. And what I mean is, spread your legs, arch your back a little bit, and do this. at least six times. Maybe you want to go around one more time, but now this clay is really soft. I've jarred that gel loose again, and I can now knead it if I want to, or just cut it from the bag and throw it, but I prefer to give it a little twist to get ready for the wheel. So it's a simple solution. Give it a try, Martina.